Hi, and welcome to my quick guide of the quest The Haunted Mine. The quest requirement is Priest in Peril and the stat requirements are 15 Agility and 35 Crafting. For the required items are simply a chisel and two empty inventory slots. For the recommended items are a pickaxe if you are doing this quest for the Mauritania Diary, but it does require you to have 55 mining though. Also two stamina potions and then a weapon, armor, food and potions to defeat a Comet 95 who is weak to magic, but it controls a machine filled room to attack you. The boss also teleport around the room a lot, so make sure that every single hit counts. Also, wear some defensive gear to reduce incoming damage while running towards it, while it has teleported away. Now, since the boss is a ghost and it is weak to magic, I suggest you to bring along some crumble undead. But if your account is a lot more progressed, then you can also bring along Ivan Blast or a Trident of the Seas. But if magic isn't your strong suit, you could also bring along a strong ranged or melee weapon. And by the way, the boss is not immune to poison. And for the teleports, just one teleportation method out of here after the quest is completed. So, where to start this quest is just west of Morton, which is located south of Cannabis. Either use the fairy ring code BIP and run south, the Morton teleport scroll, or run all the way from Cannabis to the quest sign, and here you'll find Zealot. Talk to him and select option 4, 2, 1, 1, 3, 1. 1, 1, and then 3, and then 1. So, since you now already know that Zealot has a key that you will need, right click on him and pickpocket, and you can now already continue with the quest. Next, let's run south southwest to a dungeon sign. South of the row of minecarts, you will find a minecart that you can climb over. Do so, then follow the track and you'll find a cart tunnel. Enter it and then run west. Keep running west until you hit the western wall. There you'll find an exit. Go through that exit, or go through the cart tunnel, then run south. Follow the track and go back inside. Then run east. To the end, and there will find a ladder. Climb down. Then run further east and climb down the first ladder that you see. If you haven't brought a pickaxe yet, then you can also grab one here. Let's climb down the ladder and then follow the road and then follow the cavern and here you'll find a moving cart. If you stand in its way, it will deal a lot of damage, I think up to 36. Be sure to never stand on any minecart tracks, that is for your own safety. So, once the minecart is going south, just follow it until you see an alcove to your east. Enter that alcove and then wait for the minecart to pass you. Once it has passed you, just run back south and you'll find a ladder. Let's climb down the ladder and then go north. Here you should find a glowing fungus. Pick it and then continue running northwest. Southwest of this big rock you should find a searchable minecart. Use your glowing fungus on it and then continue north. Here you'll find an alcove with a lot of red dots. North of it you'll find a point settings. Check it. The current point settings are random for everyone and we will need to fix them. Here in the settings you will find 11 letters. Each letter has two arrows, a bright red one and a dark red one. Look at the picture that is currently on the screen and make a note to see which letter is wrong for you. So for me, A is okay, but B is not.
G is okay, I is okay, H is okay, J is okay, and also K is okay. Huh, that's weird, only those four, but okay, it's random for everyone. Once you think you know all the letters that are wrong, let's close the interface and let's go northwest. Keep running northwest and here just a bit east, you'll find five levers. If you right click on them and examine, you'll find that these are the levers from F to K. Pull the levers that you need to pull, but apparently I don't need to pull any of these. Once you've pulled the levers, let's go back to the point settings. And then go back to the big rock where the searchable minecart is. Let's go around the big rock. And there you should find the five other levers. So I need to basically pull everything besides A, so that's pretty easy. Pull this, 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 and this. Alright, once you've pulled every single lever that was wrong to, for you, let's return to the point settings to check it one more time. So let's compare the current point settings with the picture. Okay, okay, that's okay, that goes down, that goes up, that goes there, that goes down, that goes left, that goes up, up. All right, that is everything is okay in my opinion. So let's click on the start button and this should trigger a cutscene. Let's click to continue and if your card didn't make it to the ladder, then you'll need to put another fungus and check your point settings once again and pull the correct levers this time. So, let's go back. Let's go back to the big rock. And south of it, there will find a ladder to go back to level 3, I think. We're currently at level 4. Oh, there's a chisel spawn. Nice. Alright, let's go up the ladder. Let's not get hit by this minecart, that would be unfortunate. And let's follow it north. Until we see a alcove, there's one west, there's one east, and there's also one here next to the track. Let's wait for the cart to have passed us, and let's go up the ladder. Right, let's run west. Let's climb up this ladder. Go further west and exit the car tunnel. If you've brought your fungus with you, it will now be turned into ashes. Right, let's go inside once again. And then go further east until you see your first ladder. Climb down. And let's go northeast. And keep running northeast to the northeastern corner. Once you're here, let's go to the northwestern corner of the northeastern part, and you'll find a ladder north of the doors. Let's climb down and then go west. Keep running west until you see a ladder in the northwestern cavern. Climb down and there you'll find your card. Search it to find your fungus, yet stake it. And if the fungus isn't here, then either you haven't put the fungus in it, or your point settings were wrong all along. Just rewind the video and go back from the start. Right, once you have your fungus, let's go back up the ladder and let's run east. Let's go back to the ladder where we just came from. Just east of this ladder, you'll find another moving card. Try to pass it while not getting hit. This should be a very easy one. Right, let's go down the ladder. And let's now run south until the path splits. Should be just behind this alleyway. We will now need to take the eastern path and run south. 
Keep running south until you see a water valve. Do not turn it right now. You first need to check your run energy. Because after we have turned the water valve, we will need to run to the lift just south of it by running all the way around this pipe. But there is a time limit, so be sure that you have at least like 50% run energy or just one stamina dose. Drink it, use your zealot key on the water valve and then click on the lift to go down. If you do not have like 20 or 50% run energy or a stamina potion dose while doing this, the ghost that you have spawned will turn the valve back down and you will fail. <gasps> no! What the hell? Why did my character stop? What the fuck? Alright, be sure that you've clicked on the lift and let's go south after you've dumped in the water. Next, let's run east. Keep running east to go to the boss fight. Keep running east to find the stairs. Go downstairs. Then go west through the door to the boss room. Go to the center of the room and you'll find a innocent looking key. First, what I want you to do is go north, north, all the way north, go on this track and here you should find, well, basically nothing, but between these two crates, if you use rune light, use the shift option and then right click on these two tiles, because once the boss is at this location, you will need to stand on these tiles, else you will be standing on a moving cart and then you will take 36 damage and that is not negatable. So, once you think you are ready, I'm gonna start by poisoning the boss. Take the innocent looking key to spawn the boss. So, as for the boss mechanics, number one, the max hit is 15. Second, as I've said before, there are a lot of minecart tracks here and never stand on them because on every one of them there is a moving card. And if you stand in its way, you will take 36 damage, which is not negatable. The second way the boss can deal damage to you is by standing next to cranes. The cranes do inaccurate melee damage with a max hit of around 25. Then the third and the final way the boss can deal damage to you is by throwing pickaxes at you. Without using protect for missiles, the max hit is 15 of those pickaxes. And then finally, if you would fail and teleport out or die, you will need to get another fungus to get down here. I thought you were poison, bitch. <gasps> yes, I defeated him. Yes, once you have defeated the boss. Let's go back north. Pick the innocent looking key. And let's go back exiting the boss room. Let's go back up the ladder. Let's go back up the stairs. And then run west. Keep running west until you see some more stairs. Bye. 
All right, let's climb down these stairs. Let's go to the door, use your key on it. Then follow the room until you see something purple just south of the two mining signs. Cut the crystal outcrop. And this will complete your quest and congratulations, you've completed the haunted mine quest. You are awarded with two quest points, 22,000 strength experience, as well as access to Tarn's Lair. You can usually just keep on cutting off crops. This has been an update. Now, if you did this quest for the Mortania Diary, just go northwest to the mining sign in the northwestern corner. And here should be your mithril that you will need to mine. Second, you've now also unlocked a shortcut to get here. To get here by using the shortcut, just crawl through the card tunnel. And you've now made it to the entrance. So once you have your 55 mining, just go through the southern card tunnel and you've made it to the mithril ore. Another popular reason why people complete this quest is to get their hands on a self amulet. To make one yourself, you just need to use a ball of wool on the self crop and then you have made yourself a regular self amulet. And while worn, this raises your attack and strength by 15% when fighting undead. By completing the Haunted Mine quest, you've now completed a quest requirement for the mini quest Tarn's Lair. And once you've completed that mini quest, you're able to enchant your self amulets to raise your attack and strength by 20% while fighting the undead. Alright, this was my quick guide how to complete the Haunted Mine quest. Hopefully it has helped. Subscribe, rate and comment. Okay, thanks, bye.